digital analog hand. Right, this is just a quick demo just to show you that the UV5R can be programmed to transmit on a channel on VHF and listen on UHF. So I'll put links to Chirp in the description and I'll put links to the web pages used. Right, hi everybody, it's Chris, 2E0UKH, and if you want a nice simple way to get your UV5R, a Beofang or one of the variants uh, working on the uh, International Space Station voice repeater, uh, take a look at John's site, John Micklaw, it's uh, M-I-K-L-O-R.com, I spoke to John in a chat. And um, he's got a ready-made file for the Beofang UV5R, you know, and the variants. So uh, loads and loads of information about the uh, space station repeater and the Doppler effect, how far away it is, the uh, orbits per day, altitude, loads of information. And he's got a a ready-made file you can download you know it's got it's got about six channels in something like that and you can download this and copy and paste it into your own image so you, you'd read from your radio you'd open up chirp you'd load this file copy all the data from this file and then paste it into uh, your Beofang or whatever variant you've got so uh, I've got actually got a Beofang UV 5R and uh, this file was created using a Beofang UV 82. So first step is to download the image. So you just click on that and it it's downloading in the bottom left of my display. I'm just going to make it make it go full screen. So uh, You know, this is just a little data file. There's nothing harmful. I'm just highlighting where it is. It's down in the bottom left. It says uh, this type of file can harm your computer. So I'm in a John McClay sound. So uh, it's just like a code plug file. So I've downloaded it and um, I'm going to show it in the folder where it is. And I'm going to drop it using the left mouse button, drop it on the desktop. I think it went on the desktop. I hope it did. It doesn't matter because I've got I've already got one on there because I was practicing. But um, so there's the file UV82 Aris .img, and uh, you need to get the latest version of version of Chirp. And you can open this file using file open. So there's the file, double click on that. And it opens up uh, the image file. And using the left mouse button, you can click on the channel number, like seven there. And we're gonna, using the, I'm gonna hold in the shift button whilst pressing up and it copy it copies more than one line at a time you know highlights them rather and if you right mouse click you can select copy and then if you load in your existing you know read from the radio read from the uv5r i don't have mine connected with the wire i'm just going to browse to my file So uh, here's all my files here. This is Beofang UV5. I'll double click on that. This is this is my um, setup I use. 
and it's opened up in a new tab at the top I'll just show you so I'm just highlighting where it is and you, you open up yours and I'm going to make this a bit bigger on the screen so it's a very small font I'm just going to make it a bit bigger so you open up your file either read from the radio or, or load the file like I've just done and you find some blank channels so we know it's six channels so I'm just going to delete some channels just to do a demo I'm holding in the shift and I'm pressing down a few times until some channels I've got room to you know put these channels in right mouse click delete you know you don't have to do this I'm just making uh, making some space I had to click on show empty if, if you have this clicked at the top here it doesn't show you your empty channel so if you click on show empty and then I'm going to hot remember I copied that load of channels I'm going to click on the top cell right mouse click and paste there's John John's just messaging me there Don't think you can see that on the screen so I've copied and pasted in the channels there and from there you can um, you can send that to your radio you know if you've if you've read from your radio the best way actually to do it is to read from your radio because then you choose the type of radio and it would open up and you can paste them in here and uh, then you'll go is it radio upload to radio I'm not going to do that because I don't have it connected 